hey, 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 folks. Welcome to the Basement Show podcast short. That's right, baby. <laughs> That's right. Happy Saturday Minimize. Night. That's right. Minimize. Minimize. All right. So we're going to kick it off. Here we go. Let's yes. Go. Okay. So... Urban legend is Ring Around the Rosie about the Black Death. Probably. Dun dun dun. Bum, bum. Dun dun dun. Let me see if I have something ambient I can yeah. play. Okay, I'm not. I'm not yeah, sure this is not. appropriate, but I'll use Probably it anyway. We'll use it. Here we I'll go. I'll use it anyway. Uh, the Black Plague was a disease we call the bubonic plague. Bubonic. Carried by rodents and transmitted to humans by fleas. Ugh. <laughs> You just, you just sounded just disgusting. So gross, dude. You were like, ugh. Just, ugh. Bugs. <laughs> no. Bugs are nasty. Yeah. The plague first hit Western Europe in 1347. Goddamn. And by 1350, it had killed nearly a third of the population. Oh, wipe out. <laughs> Although some of the details of the plague offered in Rig Around the Rosie are reasonably accurate. For instance, sneezing was one of the symptoms of a form of the plague, for example. And some people did use flowers, incense, perfume oils to try to ward off the disease. Like pockets full of posies? A pocket full of posies. Mm. The notion that they were uh, behind the creation of this nursery rhyme is extremely implausible for a number of reasons. That explanations of the rhyme's true meaning are inconsistent. And they seem to be contrived to match whichever version of Ring Around the Rosie you're familiar with. That's right, house rules. House rules. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, man, that's house rules. Um, for example, the purpose of the pocket full of posy is said to be any of the following. Something carried to ward off the disease. A way of masking the stench of death. Ooh. <laughs> that's what it smells like in the basement. It's yeah. the stench of death. No, not down here, not in this nah. basement. Uh, an item the dead were commonly buried with. Right. Flowers to place on the grave or a uh, funeral pyre. Right. A representation of the pus or infection under the skin of the sores of the plague victims. That is disgusting. Likewise, multiple meanings are claimed for the repetition of ashes at the beginning of the last line. Ashes, ashes, we no. all fall. Yeah, now you're all dead. Yay. <laughs> What? A representation of the sneezing sounds of play victims, a reference to the practice of burning bodies of those who succumbed to the plague. So they would try to do that so it wouldn't spread. Right. It did anyway. Yeah, it did. Big time. Uh, a reference to the practice of burning the homes of plague sufferers to prevent the spread, a reference to the back the, the blackish discoloration of victim skin which would which the term black plague was derived. The word ashes cannot be a corruption of the sneezing sounds made by an infected person and a word used for its literal meaning. Either ashes was a corruption of an earlier form or a deliberate use. It can't be both. Huh. Moreover, the ashes ending of Ring Around the Rosie appears to be fairly modern addition to the rhyme. Earlier versions repeat other words, syllables instead like hush or hasher or husher. As noted above, they complete they have completely different endings. Huh. So what does ring around the rosy mean? What's it mean? What's it mean? <laughs> the more likely explanation is to be found in the religious ban on dancing among many Protestants in the 19th Stop century. Stop gyrating yourself. <laughs> in huh. Britain as well as here in North America. So it's like footloose. That's right. Ooh, sinner. It's, it's like footloose. Stop Don't, your dancing. Stop. Stop twisting your waist around. You're going to hell. <laughs> Stop your gyrating. That's right. <laughs> Adolescents found a way around the dancing ban with what was called in the United States a play party. Ooh. Play parties hot. consisted of ring games, which differed from square dances only in their name and their lack of musical accompaniment. Okay. They were hugely popular, and the younger children got in the act, too. Oh, yeah. Black flag party. Here we go. <laughs> The rings referred to in the rhymes are literally the rings formed by playing children. Ashes, ashes probably comes from something like hush, hush, another common variant, which refers to stopping the ring and falling silent. Uh. 
and the falling down refers to the jumble of bodies in the ring when they let go of each other and throw themselves into the I didn't know you were supposed to throw yourself I in the circle. I never this did is that. getting dramatic. Now. It is, isn't it? I'm tense now. Yeah. So that is the explanation. The urban urban legend busted. That's right. Bring around the Rosie is not about the Black Death. It's it's not. But listen, have a great day anyway. Uh, keep an eye out for more shorts this week, and uh, yeah, we'll be back. And we love you guys. Uh, I, I fancy. Pew, pew. Yes. Yes.